Hello, I'm Jack, and you may be wondering why my milling machine is all put shut up like this. It's because uh, I tried to get it lever operated. Um, I thought that maybe it would be easier to drill one millimeter in diameter holes with a lever instead of uh, cranking a handle. Uh, but it didn't really go as planned. So let's start from the beginning. So here are the levers, or levers. Uh, these two look the same. Um, the third one is different. I guess this is for the vertical uh, one. But let's uh, bring it up. The handles should be mounted here on this one, here on the, on the bottom here, and then uh, I think one on the other side, here somewhere. Um, but I will be using this one, the transversal uh, slide, so I guess it's this one I will be using. According to the manual it should be mounted here, and clamped. After that, uh, a nut, the lead screw nut, should be uh, loosened once this slide is in its uh, most forward position. So let's do that. Clamp it. For some reason it does move without this one moves, so I don't know what's going on there really. So let's find out. Uh, the nut is on the other side. This is the nut. As far as I know it holds um, the lead screw nut back here. So let's loosen that one. And it, according to the manual, it should be loosened from its casting. So I guess it will be uh, stuck on the lead screw and then uh, slide around on that one. Not sure how much I will have to loosen this, but yeah. Let's give it that one like that. Does it move? It doesn't. Still stuck. Maybe it's uh, the nut is stuck in too much. Since it doesn't really work, I'll have to uh, remove this one and see what's going on in there. But first, I'm going to remove uh, the spindle and motor.
Now when uh, that's gone or removed, can I remove this one? Needs to be removed first, of course. Loosen the, the cape screws a bit. Okay. Looks good. And uh, when I'm turning the handle here, there's a gear here that also rotates along with it. And it's uh, fastened. There's some kind of set screw here. Maybe it's uh, maybe I need to loosen that one, and then it it has been repainted, and the paint is also on that nut. Yep, clamps the nut. Okay, this is how it looks like underneath uh, the transversal uh, head. Uh, I guess the gear should mesh with this one, and then uh, when the gear turns, it drives this one forward or backwards. And it doesn't. There's also grease here, and it looks newly applied. And it wasn't me. Probably the dealer that sold me this machine, and the gear hasn't pressed away that grease. Um, and there's no grease on the gear either. And the the teeth here on the, are on the same level as this surface here. So the gear has to stick out at least some amount above this level surface here. And um, if the gear sticks out of the base then it cannot be mounted because this one lays flat on the base. So. It seems that this maybe should be uh, able to be adjusted once this is mounted so that it can engage with the, with the gear, but this looks uh, like it's a uh, solid, solid piece of metal that it is mounted to. Okay, let's have a look at, uh, at the gear and the base. If we have a look at this, um, the gear here, the gear doesn't stick out of this surface here, which means that again, how should it, how should it engage with the tooth on on, on the head? It's always the same size; nothing happens. Um, 
it's not that maybe maybe it's possible to adjust it once I mounted the head but no doesn't seem to be uh, adjustable at all if we have a look at this one here it's the same there's some uh, teeth here that lays flat with this surface and then there's a gear inside this one well I hope it is I have to open it and it rotates freely so something is uh, making them not engaging or meshing here so yeah like, uh, there's no screws or anything that you can change and this is just uh, mounted here in a solid piece of metal nothing nothing that l lets me raise it yeah so that's a bit of a disappointment uh, I really want to be able to use the levers for this lever here uh, I think it would be be fun but also uh, maybe add a bit of uh, sensitivity or feedback for me when I'm drilling um, and I don't need to wear out my already worn out uh, lead screw and, and, and nut uh, if you know what's wrong maybe uh, I'm doing something wrong or uh, I need to switch out some part please let me know uh, hopefully I can get it working yeah, until next time, please comment if you know how to fix it. Thanks for watching.